Hi, this is Eric Yates, and in this video, we're going to take a look at a part of the Smart Notebook Clip Art area or Clip Art Gallery called the Lesson Activity Toolkit. And we're going to see what sorts of things you can do with the Lesson Activity Toolkit. And when I'm looking at Smart Notebook in my full uh, editing mode here, I've got my toolbar at the top and the uh, tabs on the side here, I can see. I've got a clip art tab here and one of the items in that tab is the lesson activity toolkit and I'm just going to have a blow up view here you can see the lesson activity toolkit is a line in that gallery area and what sorts of things are in there well the easiest way to take a look is to click on that little folder and you'll see it expand now I could scroll down to look at the different items under that activities uh, folder, or I could click on this little dimple here in the bar that separates the top window from the bottom and drag that down in order to make more space. Let's have a look at one of the fun, easy, and popular items in the activities portion of the lesson activity toolkit. It's called the Vortex Sort, and this one is text-based. If I open this uh, little folder down below, I can see I can get different colors. I've selected orange in my case. Now, to use this, like most lesson activity toolkit items, I click on an edit button and I start typing some text into the boxes here. I'm going to make something very easy here for us to uh, work with. So I've got two categories and I can put in some uh, different sorts of labels and I can, I've got trees and mammals here. Um, so let's put in uh, uh, some of the basics here and, and see what happens. Okay, so I've entered a few. I'm going to click the OK button here and this is what the students will see. They see they've got these little word boxes here and the spinning vortices. What happens if I try to put a mouse into the trees category? No, oh, it gets thrown right out. Does it belong in mammals? Yes, of course, it gets sucked into the vortex. Same with dog. And maple goes into the trees. All right, oak belongs with trees. A larch is a mammal, right? Oh, no, it gets spun out. Better put that in trees. And cat. Oh, we're happy to see the cat get sucked out into the vortex. All right, so there we go. We get sort of an answer review at the end. The next group of students can reset the puzzle. That's a nice one. Let's go to the next example here. Now, this is called hot spots. I picked this one because a lot of people see hot spots in the list and say, what is hot spots? Well, hot spots allows you to start an activity. I'll click the start button here and I have to click on whatever object is named at the top, a uh, boat. Let me click on the boat and that spot gives it to me and I can click on these things. All right. And when I'm done, I get all, all kinds of accolades. All right. Now in the editing mode, are there many things I can change? All right, but I'll let you play with that. There is an, uh, a link here to watch a video, and that came from a section in the Lesson Activity Toolkit all right, called the Tools. Actually, I'm sorry, that was not there. It was in the Examples area. And in my Pictures section, you can see we've got Video Tutorials as an option right here. All right, what else do we have? Let's take a look. A crossword puzzle. You can create a crossword puzzle by typing in words and then the clues. And then when you click generate, this is what you get. Now the kids can write with the pens or they can enter text. You select the method here and look at this pull tab clues. If I click on one across, I get the clue and then I could type it in. If I click on seven down, look what happens. What's in that heavy pillowcase? Maybe candy or something. I could put in a C and A and N, a D and a Y. Okay. All right. I can also solve the puzzle if I'm not so sure. All right. Of course, we can always reset the puzzle. Let's go on to something else. In the graphics folder, we've got these sorts of things. Lots of different colored objects that you can use as pointers, as pull-down tabs, as warnings, or other types of icons. Very useful. 
This I like a lot. In the tools folder, you've got a random group generator. You can enter the names of your students in class. And then how many groups do you want? Oh, I need five groups. So I can click generate and look at this. It makes the groups for me. Very cool stuff. Okay. Well, finally, one last thing for us to look at is this column sort. Okay. And what I can do is I can click the edit button and I can have all sorts of columns. I can have just two columns if I want or three. I can, of course, label or put my uh, the words that I want the kids to sort in these boxes and then attach them to different columns. Click OK and then the kids can slide their uh, the words around into the appropriate columns. Those are just a few of the many neat things you can see in the Lesson Activity Toolkit. I hope that you have enjoyed this preview. Explore, have fun. Remember to look in the, in the Clip Art tab and Lesson Activity Toolkit. All of these different folders can be really neat and make your lessons exciting. Any questions, contact Eric Yates.